YouTube, welcome back. Got my first SPS. I bought some Zoas and some Acans. So here's my green stylo. Here is with the light you can't really tell, but they're they are an orange outer. And a, a blue and orange inside the center, pretty cool. This one's pretty good. I like this. I think this is going to be my favorite one so far. And uh, it's weird with this acrylic. As soon as I tilt it a little bit, I lose focus. Those ones are pretty nice there. I've got some blue ones right here with the green center. Those look pretty good too. And the A cans. And then this other one's a green with the purple and the green in the center. That one's pretty cool. See, I've got the camera tilted through the acrylic, it, it loses focus. But so I got some corals. Um, I got a par meter for my apex, and let me go into that with you. So I've never had the correct par levels in my tank. You know, you're going blind unless you know. This is probably the best thing I bought for the fish tank so far. The reason is at that same spot before I um, did anything, I took a reading and I was getting 80 par at the top of the tank on the highest rock right in the center. Almost directly between the two, um, the two output, you know, the outlights. So, uh, so 80 par here. It's not going to work for a reef tank with corals. Uh, it's trying to, you know, grow corals with that limited lighting. Just not going to work. You don't know until you got one of these par meters. So I, what I had to do is um, I had the light fixture up pretty high so the spread would come all the way to, uh, to the outside there, which is 60 inches. And you have to be pretty high to get it there. And I didn't have it. I had about 50% on the intensity and right now I had to lower it down quite a bit and put it about I think it's at 85 percent um, I'm shooting right now uh, 300 par all right that right that uh, coral right there at the top of the tank I have about 180 one, 160 180 in different areas right here I think that's 160 they cans and 180 190 to the zoas uh, lowering the tank it's 120 at that little uh, point right there where that um, old uh, Monte cap uh, remainder frag was where it died out. So I've got the, uh, the lighting figured out now. I think I've got the salinity figured out. My, uh, my salinity was always low. I didn't know it because the fractometer deal was uh, giving me false readings so when I get the when I got the apex I realized my salinity was only I think I forgot what I said before but it was like two point or 21 something and parts per million was like I think 27 which is it's not enough salt my tanks doing a lot better as far as uh, it started once I started got the salinity up it, my tank started doing better um, within a couple days since I've had the lighting turned up, I've had an explosion on the coral line. So give me a, two months and I bet you all the, most of these rocks will be covered with coral line. I mean, it's just taking off right now. As you can tell. So the next step, um, my pellet reactor uh, doesn't have enough flow. Even after I changed the height on it, tried to reduce the head pressure on it, it's just the pump that's running right now. It was like a $200 pump, and now I'm paying the price for it. So it's just going to be my backup pump. I'm going to try and get a new powerful pump, maybe like an L1 or something, and uh, go that way. So before I had a wave line, the strongest pump I've seen, I bought the. Uh, I don't even know. Maybe that thing doesn't even have a name. It's so cheap back there. I should have cleaned that. Yeah, that one. I forgot the name on this thing. This one's the the Aquamax brand with the. Um, it's 
sun pole, I think they call it. Uh, that one's that one's got a lot more flow, twice the flow of the other one. So I mean that's a pretty good pump. It's not as strong as a wave line. If you've had a wave line, don't think that's gonna um, get you out of the the problems. You'll still have problems with uh, flow on that one. But it's it's strong enough just for the tank, and I'll leave it at that because I don't have it on full, and I've got definitely enough flow for the tank. So I need something stronger for all the equipment, all the the piping, you know. I need something stronger for that. So we'll do that. Um, my uh, my GFO reactor. Let me zoom in so I don't have to walk over there. But my Aquamax dual reactor. Um, before I was running GFO on the left side and carbon on the right, and a subscriber um, suggested, which it worked, um, put half and half on each side, and then use use the BRS um, reactor for just carbon and split up the the recommended amount in both chambers, you know, half and half, just like on it, I did on the GFO. And so that way I'm not requiring that much flow to make it, uh, to make that GFO tumble. And then I've got, um, I've got an order for more carbon. I'm out of carbon right now. That's why the tank looks a little cloudy. So let me, uh, oh, let me go over here. The tank's a little bit cloudy without the carbon and that should come on Wednesday. And maybe I'll throw out another video, guys, for you next week. Next weekend, I'll get some more corals, and uh, we will uh, see what's going on next week with you. Thanks for watching.